hello and welcome back to my youtube channel it's dawn here so today we are making brooches um using some resin and these brooch backs uh, so they're more like pin badges um but i have put the video on speed up now these are only oh i've missed one out there so i will use some uv resin for that one um yeah so these are only just sets so i've just had a go so but i'm i've got some people around tonight so i need to get these out of the way and plus i'm impatient but how cute is that isn't that just so cute so it sort of goes that way up um so i've got some sea creatures i've got some butterflies not sure how these are going to turn i'm not sure actually if i can mold these ones yet might be able to i might mold that one um, got some roses got some owls and got some hearts so i'm going to leave it here and let you see the footage sped up of me mixing these you will see my mistake at putting the original ones in i put them in way too soon and they started dipping um which is not what you want so um i'm going to leave it all in for you guys uh, so that you can see my mistakes so you don't make them and yeah um we'll come back and we'll unmold them
right okay let's start and unmold so i'm going to start off with our owls now i'm thinking i'm going to put some gold on just to highlight the details but oh, how gorgeous is he he is beautiful so yeah i had this idea because i was uh doing some oh my goodness gorgeous i was doing some um free gifts for when people order from my sh shop and um yeah the dinosaurs are just gorgeous i wanted to make some more dinosaurs but i can't find the mold but these have turned out beautifully absolutely gorgeous i'm hoping you can see these they're really really pretty oh he's so cute but how lovely are these um especially like to give us gifts as well i'm definitely going to keep a couple for myself because i love owls so i have to oh mummy and baby so yeah i will probably um go over the top with some with some um i don't know maybe some gilding wax or something try and get some of the the details out but they are just fab i'm going to turn them upside down because they are still soft and i don't want to risk um misshaping them i shouldn't really be all unmolding them uh, right now but we are and then i made some more hearts so i have already done a few hearts uh right one that's um not as soft i love this one it almost looks like a galaxy absolutely gorgeous let me just see if we can zoom in it just a little um so yeah i'll take those bits off when it's um when it's fully cured but absolutely beautiful so really really nice again i'm going to turn them over um now not sure if i can unmold these ones or not oh, oh i wasn't i didn't think this butterfly one would work i didn't think it was big enough for the um yeah for it so i'm going to leave the rest uh because yeah they still need time so let's do this rose let's see how this one turns out i've already done a couple of the rose ones actually i don't think this is ready either i think i'm being very impatient you know guys oh no there we go again i will start out these end bits but really really beautiful um once they have dried uh once they've hardened so it's probably another 24 hours uh, about 12 hours for it to harden um and then they just snap off oh, i love that one as well absolutely gorgeous really really pretty and then so i'm just gonna even when these are hard i find that just bending oh i love that color I find that bending that mould really helps. So the last ones is just the um, the sea creature one. So this is the penguin. Oh my goodness! Look at how cute he is. Um, and then let's do the seahorse. So let's see if we can get this out. There we go. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous as well. They are so cute. And they've turned out brilliantly as well. A lot better than expected. So really, really nice. Now they are quite chunky. But I don't know. I just like them. So the oh, <laughs> that one was dying to get out. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. Um so yeah i think and to secure that on i've literally just put the brooch back in just as it was hardening um so you'll see in the you'll have seen in the footage that they did start sinking so there is a point in which um yeah it, you have to sort of do it oh it's gorgeous um so but if not um in the video where i show you the free gifts that i've made uh you will see that i mean this one hasn't got a brooch back on so i'm gonna have to uh, put one on so basically all i do is let me just see 
um so i would just grab my uv resin i would stick that in there like that actually let's do it and then i'm going to take it outside um and i just put my uv resin on and then um i just put it in the sun and that sort of puts it all together now what i do as well is i actually do the whole back with the uv resin just so that you haven't got any sort of right work out how we want this stick that back in so that just goes in like that okay um let me just grab this make sure it's in sorry i'm getting messages through and then now i'll just go outside and that will um harden in the uh sun so i'm going to come back in another couple of hours uh when we can actually mold these ones and then we'll have a play so yeah i'm so impatient i have to say but these are looking absolutely gorgeous i mean there's a few that i'm not sure i'm not sure about that one and this one but oh and that one those three are my least favorites but loving those hearts those hearts are just stunning that one definitely is my favorite but can you imagine one of them on your bag how how gorgeous would that be so yeah so i will be back in a few hours when these are a lot harder um and yeah we'll um we'll unmold these and we'll have a good look at them right okay i'm back it's actually the next day uh so these are all really hard and yeah all set up so and give these oh it so it does come off excellent that's exactly what i wanted to know um so what i'm gonna do because these do come off um because i wasn't sure if just you know dropping them in would work so it's one of the one things that i did want to test but i was being very impatient yesterday um so for the noises that is lady having her milk because she likes a cup of milk when we come in on the morning and now she's looking at me as if to say well i've had my milk where's my treats um but yeah uh that's really good to know that they do come off so you will need a really like a glue or you will need so this one um is the one that i put outside with the uv resin and you can see that one's not budging that's not budging at all um which is a fabulous um and they look so good on they really do i love them so i'm really glad that yeah they come off super easily um so what we'll do um it is overcast today um yeah i'm just gonna pull all of these off like so um i think i just didn't time it as right however what i do like is that we have got an indent of where um they're to go so that's quite good um but the, i mean this is all experimentation anyway so i like to do all of these you know everything that i do i do from scratch on camera i don't keep anything um like left out because uh, i think if you you know if you guys are wanting to do it then you can hopefully learn from my mistakes but i was wondering whether or not oh that one's stuck yeah that so that one's completely stuck that one oh no it's not i pulled that did you see me pull that and it didn't come off so yeah um so i won't be doing that method again um i was curious to see whether it would work um so i will definitely from now on just use my uv resin uh to have these in uh because i think yeah it's it's just not worth it if you especially if you're going to sell these you don't want to you know um the customer to have them for you know five minutes and then they fall apart now this one was pushed right in um so this one might be because i left this one in when it was really sticky yeah this that one this one is definitely solid so um when you saw me messing <clears throat> and we wasted a load of the brooch backs this one i kept in and actually if you do it at the right point it will stay um so that one's fine uh but the rest i put in too late um, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm not going to bother doing that, um, that way anymore. 
I am I am going to do it with UV resin because I know that the UV resin definitely works. Um, I'm going to take off these edges. So because they're nice and hard now, they come off quite easily. Why have I just... Um, I need you in there because we need to pull you off. Oh no. This one as well. I think this was another one that I kept in um, because that's not wanting to budge. I mean, I've just said that with another one in it thingied, but... Oh, oh, hang on. There we go. I managed to get it off. I think it would have stayed, but yeah, the fact that with lots of pulling and twisting, I could take it off. It's, it's not worth it. Um, okay, so these ones should be able to be unmolded now um because we couldn't unmold them they were too soft oh how gorgeous is that butterfly again i'm going to take that off because they won't set on i can't believe i actually managed to resist unmolding these um oh they're so beautiful so beautiful and this one I'm, i've left this one last because i think this one's going to be my favorite yeah i was right how stunning is that so um like i said the weather outside today is awful like really awful so i'm not sure how well my uv resin will work it's overcast i think it works but i think it just takes um a lot longer so i'm going to grab a couple of gloves um I'm going to grab my coffee because my coffee maker has finished. Actually, what I do want to do before we do that um, is I think I want to put some gilding wax on just to bring out some of the detail. So, again, this is all experimentation. So, it's seeing. just have to move my chair to get my gilding wax. So, it's right behind me. I'm going to go with the gold because, I don't know, I just like the gold. <coughs> And I am going to use my uh, pair of gloves for that. Well, just one glove for this. Okay. Um, just to keep my hand clean. And then, so let's put that. I don't want too much on. But all I'm going to do and hope that this brings out... The, the details in our piece now this is too much um gilding wax and i went for this one because this is one of the ones that i don't particularly like but actually putting that gold on has really made that pop um and it is furniture grade so once it's on it's on um should have put my black ones on but there you go so i don't want to sort of do too much Let me just check um, so I have had news as well. This will, you see, by the time this goes up, this will all have been gone about a month ago, or two months ago, because I've done that much filming because I haven't had a computer. Oh, I love it. Right, where is my cloth? Because, yeah, so this will give it a really good polish up because it is furniture grade, which means you can polish it. Oh, I don't know if you can see. It just brings out the details of that fish. So, I mean, it, I'm hoping some of this does come off so it gives it a a bit more of a distress look because I quite like that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to change my glove. I'm going to put one of my black ones on for this. I don't have many of the black ones. Um like the they're not latex or something else and I, I can't remember the name um on my somebody did mention it um and i did buy some straight away um and now i've just completely forgot but my dad got me absolutely loads of this kind so that's why i still use that can because when i say i have hundreds i have hundreds um and i don't like to waste so right um just like I say, just very gently going over the top of these. Oh, that's much better with this glove. Um, just to bring out, we're just bringing out that detail. So I think what I'm going to do. Oh, I love it. And I'm not putting very much of this on. That was a bit too much there. I'm not putting very much of this on my finger at all because we don't want that much on. 
we just want enough to bring out that detail to us the other thing i'm going to do is i do have some files here for resin um and i'm just going to go around and file those edges down because some of these edges now i'm not going to go all the way down because the um my uv resin will fill um fill that but I do want to take it down just a little bit so this is going to take me probably quite a a while to do um so I think let's pop you on speed up while we do it so while I tidy up the backs and while we bring out that detail on the front um I love that I really really love that and it just looks fabulous like I say, it's just giving it that bit of extra detail. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. But it's not distracting from the colour. I mean, we couldn't see that before. And now all those details are popping out. I mean, it looks so much better in real life, I have to say. But yeah. Um, now this one I'm not going to do anything with at all. Um, just give it a bit of a sand on the back. Um, I think for just for my um even though i can't get it off and you saw me trying i am going to put a little bit of uv resin on it uh, just so that i know it's definitely secure um yeah i like to make sure the things are secure so i'm just going to I'm, like i said just going to go around and just file off those edges you can use a deburring tool or a burring tool why do i say deburring it's not deburring it's just a burring tool um but i do like the look that a file gives as well so and as i can't find look at that how easy does that come off and i can't find um my what do you call it mine so um I, whereas i do have this now on the hearts these tips just here are super sharp so what I did with all my other ones is I just cut at it, um, not cut at it, filed at it, just to make it not as sharp because if someone's wearing this on the body, you don't want it to. So, and so it looks all good all the way around. There we go. And then that, that's no longer sharp. So that, well, that one's ready. The hearts are not getting any, um, like, inky um, stuff but i'm looking forward to the owls so let's do the owls because there is texture i mean what i should have probably done is um fill the mold like you know colored the mold in however that takes away the fun of doing this now i'm just taking small layers with this um because I don't want to go in too heavy, too quick. So small layers is the is the key. Oh, he looks amazing. Look at that detail. Now, look at the detail of him compared to, you know, you can actually see his face and stuff. I do think he needs a little bit more just to, yeah. Like I say, it's all about just building it up slowly. I'm going to go around his head and stuff with it. Oh, he is so cute. So, there's that one. So, yeah, let's pop you on speed up, guys, while I do this. Because, I, like I said, this is going to be a long one. I have no idea what this one is. But it's going to be a bit like the pink one I don't like. Um, To me, it looks like a spaceship. Yeah. So, we're going to just do a distress look on it. Okay. Which, I think... Actually, that's mid the colour and everything of it look amazing. Yeah, I like that. Right, okay, so yeah, let's pop you on speed up. And then um, once I've got the backs on, UV'd on, um, I'll come back and I'll show you the final results. I'll be two seconds. Well, I'll be however long it takes, but however long the video is, I will see you when this part is finished. I know you told your friend you're not okay. Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes 
Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
right okay they are now all perfectly and completely stuck they're not going anywhere i have to say that they are absolutely oh, them they're absolutely gorgeous and i'm loving them so i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing them that is definitely my favorite heart um enjoyed seeing the process of these being put together because i have absolutely loved them and i think they'll make a perfect little um bits and pieces to sell at uh craft fairs look at that owl he's so cute you've got to start get him in the right light there he is <laughs> um but yeah beautiful so i hope it's given you a little bit of um, a few ideas um so yeah i've had fun with this one i have to say definitely a lot of fun um i, I need to find out my dinosaur one though because i really want to make some more dinosaur brooches so hopefully we'll see a video of that very soon uh but that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and we will see you in the next video very soon but until then happy crafting bye